Today we're going to go to the Fort Stanton Museum and the grounds. And if you look behind me, there are lots of buildings. There's a museum that we're going to visit and then there's all kinds of buildings that we're going to be able to go visit. This is the Fort Stanton Museum and Visitor Center here in New Mexico. So we're going to go into the museum. And this is the barracks. Wide. Wider than I would suspect. This is for the first and second sergeants of the company. They get their own room. What? Bunkmates. Bunkmates. <gasps> Two soldiers slept in each bed, head to toe and back to back. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> That's why they're so wide order arms carry arms secure arms here we go by the way that's the museum and that's was the hospital and this is a look at all the buildings that are still, still here at the fort. The fort was established in 1855 as part of the campaign against the Mescalero Apache Indians. In 1861, the Confederate soldiers took possession of the fort after the Union soldiers abandoned the fort. At the end of 1861, the fort was left vacant for 14 months. They give you a cool little map of the grounds and so you can know where you're going. This is the new hospital. This new hospital building replaced the old tuberculosis hospital in 1936. The what? Plague. Tuberculosis has affected humans for at least 6,000 years. Sanatoriums in the land of enchantment. And there is the Fort Stanton Marine Cemetery, which you, I did a video on that. Now we'll link it above. This was the pharmacy. Look down the hall. It's all the hospital rooms. This is the open air living for the tuberculosis patients. They ended up um, living in cabins. This building right here is the officer's quarters, number four. That one's not open. So we will move on to the next building. Fort was reopened in 1862 by Kit Carson. The fort was once again closed in 1896 when the protection from the Indians was no longer needed. This is the officer's quarter building number three. In 
1899, the fort was utilized as the first federal hospital to treat tuberculosis. This is the commanding officer's quarter. That one is open, so we will be going in there. Between 1933 to 1940, the fort was used as a civilian conservation corps camp for 200 boys that worked at the fort as well as the Forest Service. Commanding Officers Quarter Building 1. Looks like they have a little sunroom now. Foyer. This is the parlor. This is the dining room. I always like to see how wide the walls are from there all the way out. It's pretty thick walls. The next building is the cafeteria and it's not open. I'm sure they wouldn't have called this a cafeteria back in the war days. This was probably a cafeteria during the prison. The next building right in front of us is the officer's quarter number 13. Between 1935 and 1945, there was a crew of a German luxury liner that was taken aboard an American warship and was eventually sent to Fort Stanton. After the war was declared with Germany, these crew members were classified as alien enemies and treated as prisoners of war. At the end of the war, they were sent back to Germany. The sitting room. places back to back. Thousand stories to tell. In the walls of this room you will see layers representing every era of the fort. From construction in 1855 to the damage brought by the Civil War, the repairs after the war, additions as the fort grew, and the remodels during the hospital years, all are present before your eyes. If these walls could talk, you would be here for a long time listening. Wow, look at those adobe bricks. You can see it talk there was a fire. Additions and remodels. down or knocked a hole in the wall or like a door. In 1963 the fort was used as a mental hospital and it closed in 1996. That same year it was then reopened as a low security women's prison and it then closed in 1999. After leaving the officers quarters come to the nurses quarters. And that is a whole different looking building. Between 
between 2000 and 2009, it was used as a drug re rehabilitation center. This was constructed in 1940. They had their own little courtyard. Look at that fireplace. That's fancy. And this building is the Fort's administration building and it's not open to the public. It's a cool building. And out here is the parade grounds. In 2008, it was officially transferred to the New Mexico Department of Cultural Affairs. Guard house, and this is the guard house. And we made a complete circle of the grounds. We started right there, which is the museum. And across the road here, there's nothing left but stairs up. And that was all the tuberculosis tents and later became cabins like this one you see right in front of you. And two people would share a cottage or a cabin as they called them. But they were all up on this hill. Corral and stables. Oh, how cool. Wow. This is cool. It's locked. Oh, wait. It may be locked. Yeah. How cool. This is old, old stables. Oh, there's horses in there. There's one anyway. There's one. Or two. No, there's two. There's a couple. Yeah. yeah. What you doing? I should have brought a carrot. Hi. My goodness. Hi. What you doing? See, I'm going to eat some hay. It's right here. You're big. Hi, guy. Hi. You're pretty. You're pretty. My goodness. Say I can't get any of that hay. I can't get any of that hay. No.